Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson today in continuation with your main topic that is linear inequality. What we are going to discuss today is integer solution of a given linear inequality. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student, we'll be able to find the integer solution of a given linear inequality. This is what I hope you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. My dear student, in your Mars favorite segment of the lesson, that is Mars is fun. Today I'll give you another interesting number. This number is 720. It's another interesting, another special, another amazing number. We explain what is special with this very number after completing my lesson today. So don't go away. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let's just have the very first example because uh, finding integer solution is just like an extension of our previous lesson where we learn how to find the solution of a compound inequality. So let's just take this very first example. Example number one says find the integer value x such that this inequality is the true. That is minus 12 less than 5 minus 3x. And 5 minus 3x is less than minus 3. Solution to this very problem, what we do as usual, this compound inequality, we will now split it into two simple inequalities and find the individual solution of those uh, two simple inequalities. It is uh, the range of solution that satisfy both the two simple inequalities that will now serve as the solution of this compound inequality. Let me do that. So uh, what I'm going to do first is to split split this compound inequality to have just two separate simple inequalities and let me take this very first part minus 12 less than 5 minus 3x you can see it's 5 minus 3x that is at the middle so let me have that inequality minus 12 less than 5 minus 3x and my second inequality is now going to be 5 minus 3x less than minus 3 let me just write it here so it is these two simple inequalities that I'm going to solve each separately. So let me start solving the very first one. So solving the very first one, I'm going to take this 5 to the left. So I'm going to have minus 12 minus 5 less than minus 3x. So I will now add this minus 12 and minus 5 to get minus 17 less than minus 3x. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3 by negative 3. You can see the inequality now is less than it will now reverse to greater. So I'm going to have uh, 5 whole number 2 over 3. That is after dividing minus 17 by minus 3, the sign will be plus and this is what you have 5 whole number 2 over 3. And uh, what you have by the right uh, is now just x and you can see this sign from less than now changes to greater because we have divided both sides by a negative number. So this is the solution of uh, the very first simple inequality. The solution will now be all those values smaller than 5 whole number 2 over 3. So if I am to write the whole number solution, that is the integer solutions, I will now have x as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it continues like that. The numbers keep reducing because this solution says x less than, x less than. 5 whole number 2 over 3. You can see the very first integer value will be 5, then the next will be 4, next will be 3, next will be 2, 1, and so on, 0, minus 1, minus 2. So these are the samples of the integer value satisfying this very solution. So I'll now move to the second inequality, the second simple inequality, that is 5 minus 3x less than minus 3. I'm going to solve this to 2. So solving this, we collect like terms minus 3x less than then minus 3 minus 5. I have shifted this positive 5 to the right. So I'll continue. So I'm going to have minus 3x less than minus 8. So I'll divide both sides by negative 3. By negative 3, this very 3. On dividing this, this inequality will now change from less than to greater. So I'm going to have x greater than 2 whole number 2 over 3. Dividing minus 8 by minus 3 gives this positive 2 whole number 2 over 3. So this is the solution of the second simple inequality. So what it remains is to write also it is whole number solutions. This is x bigger than 2 whole number 2 over 3. So the very first whole number 
in this solution will now be the whole number 3 because this is two whole number 2 over 3 and x is bigger than this value so the very first integer value or the very first whole number bigger than this will now be 3 so x will now be 3 4 5 6 7 and so on so what i am now going to do remember the solution to this compound inequality it says uh, is the solution satisfying this simple inequality and also satisfying this simple inequality so from this uh, solutions of the two simple inequalities i'll now find uh, the values that satisfy both this is x 5 4 3 2 1 this is x 3 4 5 6 7 and keep increasing while this keep reducing so I can see the intersection of the two. The two now give me the solution of this compound inequality. Let me see the intersection. That is the three values. Five, four, three. Is part of the solution of this simple inequality. Three, four, five is also part of the solution. If you take this six, you don't have six here. If you put it here, it will not satisfy this inequality. Similarly, if you use the this to two here, 2 is not a part of the solution. So you just take the intersection of the value. So there, it will now be 5, 4, and 3. This will now be the integer value satisfying, the, satisfying this compound inequality. Let's just take one more example. Example number 2 it says find the integer value x such that uh, minus 10 is less than 3 into x plus 5, and 3 into x plus 5 is less than 0 solution to this uh, so what we now do we now form the two simple inequalities from this compound by splitting it into two so let me do that so splitting i will now take uh, minus 10 less than 3 into x plus 5 to have just one simple inequality and uh, the second simple inequality i will now take the other part that is 3 into x plus 5 less than 0 that will give me the second simple inequality and it is this two that i'm going to solve this separately so starting with the solving of the very first one i will first open this very bracket i will now have minus 10 less than 3x plus 15 3 times x is 3x 3 times 5 is this positive 15. so what i'm going to do next uh, is to shift this uh, positive 15 to the left where it will change it to minus together with this minus 10 i will now have minus 25 and i will now divide both sides by the coefficient of x which is 3 so that will give me minus 8 whole number 1 over 3 less than x so this is the solution of this very first simple inequality which i will now write the integer value satisfying this so it says x greater x greater than minus 8 whole number 1 over 3. So the very first whole number solution satisfying this inequality is now going to be minus 8. Then next to minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, up to whatever number. You can see numbers are increasing because the inequality says x greater than what you have here. So if I move to the second inequality, let me solve it also. In attempt, I will expand that very bracket. I'm going to have 3 times x, 3x. 3 times 5, 15, less than 0. So I'll now shift this 15 to the right. There it becomes minus, uh, and dividing it by the coefficient of x, 3, I'll have x less than minus 5. So I'll now also write the integer value satisfying this very inequality. It says x less than minus 5. So values of x should now be smaller than minus 5. So the whole number smaller than minus 5 start from, start from minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, and so on. All these are smaller than minus 5, and the, the value of x that satisfy this will now be those smaller than minus 5, and these are just a sample of them. So what I'm going to now do, I will now write the solution to this compound inequality. That is the integer solution, which I will now get, uh, get the integers here. And the integers here that is just a few sample of the integer value satisfying this to two so let me get the intersection the intersection will now be this three values minus eight minus seven minus six i still have the minus six minus seven minus eight but this minus nine is not here 
and this minus 5 is not here. So I'll now write the combined solution. That is the integer solution satisfying this will now be x from minus 8 to minus 7 and minus 6. These three values are the only values satisfying this simple inequality and satisfying this inequality. Hence, it will now be the solution satisfying this compound inequality. This is how we now find the integer values satisfying our compound inequality. With this, my dear student, I have come to the end of this lesson. I hope you find it resourceful. And let me just move to the last segment of my part and explain interesting thing about the number 720. 720 can be expressed as product of consecutive integers in two different ways. Let's just see how we can express that this, that is 720. But those consecutive integers can be expressed in two different two ways. Let's just see one of them. 720 can be expressed as 8 times 9 times 10. You can see 8, 9, and 10 are consecutive integers. 8, next number is 9, next is 10. And if you multiply this correctly, you get the number 720. 720 again can be expressed as another consecutive integers, not 8, 9, and 10. Let's just see another consecutive integers. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Look at them, five consecutive integers. 2, next is 3, next is 4, next is 5, next is 7. Multiplying these five numbers that are consecutive gives you your 720. So 720 is so special that can be expressed in two different ways. And those to each way will now be product of consecutive integers. Thank you for your attention. We see more of interesting things in mathematics in our subsequent lessons.